A very good evening and welcome to the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, where she briefed His Majesty on the cultural march in the kingdom for the year 2017. Sheikh Hamed presented His Majesty with a book about the Authority's future strategy in promoting the kingdom's gains. She also presented him with the publications of the Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Center for Culture and Research. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the efforts of the Authority in enriching the cultural march in the Kingdom and in documenting it through various activities and events, wishing everyone success. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan on the demise of a number of Emiratis who were targeted whilst on a mission to implement humanitarian, educational and developmental projects in Kandahar, Afghanistan, expressing deep sympathy for the families of the victims and the brotherly UAE people, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. His Majesty the King sent two similar consolatory cables to UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and to the Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces and Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today the former British Prime Minister David Cameron. The meeting was also attended by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King hailed the historic relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom, which are based on fruitful and joint cooperation and coordination. His Majesty also expressed his appreciation for the efforts of Mr Cameron in bolstering these outstanding ties, in addition to developing cooperation amongst the GCC countries and the United Kingdom in all fields. His Majesty the King stressed the active role of the United Kingdom and its contributions to preserving stability and security regionally and internationally. The meeting also discussed the latest regional and international developments. For his part, Mr Cameron expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his efforts in strengthening bilateral ties, wishing for further development of these relations. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today members of the National Institution for Human Rights, the NIHR, headed by its president, Dr. Abdulaziz Hassan Abel. The NIHR presented His Majesty with its annual reports for the year 2015 to 2016. His Majesty the King affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is persistent in its march for the preservation of human rights and supports all that maintains these values in order to ensure security and tranquility for all citizens. He stressed the Kingdom's commitment to all international conventions and laws on human rights, which are an essential part of Bahrain's culture and identity of the Arab and Islamic doctrine. His Majesty King Hamid praised both local and international achievements and activities that aim at enforcing and developing human rights in Bahrain. He went on to commend the efforts of the NIHR in communicating with international organizations and bodies in a framework of transparency and clarity to work on the protection and consolidation of human rights. His Majesty continued to commend the role of the Board of Commissioners and the General Secretariat of the NIHR in fostering human rights through consolidating these values and their promotion within the society, as well as the institution's contribution in guaranteeing their implementation freely. He went on to cite the international good reputation the NIHR has cultivated by practicing its duties faithfully, which is in line with Bahrain's honorable record in freedoms and human rights. He also expressed to the members of the NIHR and its president his best wishes for their success in carrying out their duties and mission. After the meeting, Mr. Abel expressed his pride in meeting His Majesty the King and presenting him with the NIHR annual reports. 
He also expressed pleasure in receiving His Majesty's directives for the continuation of enhancing the status of human rights on the civil, political, economic, social and cultural levels. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, sent a cable of condolences to UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan, on the demise of a number of Emiratis who were targeted in Kandahar, Afghanistan, expressing his deep sympathy for the families of the victims and the brotherly UAE people, and wishing the injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed his strongest denunciation of such a criminal terror act, which contravenes all humanitarian values. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent two similar consolatory cables to UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and to the Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces and Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gurebiya Palace the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, David Cameron, who is currently visiting Bahrain. They discussed the friendly and cooperative relations between the UK and Bahrain. His Royal Highness affirmed that decision makers must be more understanding of the region before disaster strike by attaining information from reliable sources, not based on false information which leads to policy making on fallacious grounds. The Prime Minister stated that everyone in the region is in need of peaceful coexistence and for all countries to be stable and safe. The former UK Prime Minister confirmed that Bahrain security is the UK security due to their deep-rooted and strategic relations and that Britain is always keen to strengthen its relationship with Bahrain. His Royal Highness praised the deep-rooted and historic relations that connect Bahrain and the UK and expressed appreciation for Cameron's role in enhancing and strengthening Bahraini-British cooperation. His Royal Highness reviewed the latest developments in the region and issues on the regional and international levels, in addition to topics of common interest. He also noted the UK's role in enhancing stability and supporting security in the region and the world. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received today at Gurebiya Palace Abdullah bin Khalid al-Mana, who is currently visiting Bahrain. 
They discussed the growth and development of relations linking Bahrain and Qatar in all fields. His Royal Highness the Premier stressed the deep-rooted ties between the two friendly countries and the increasing cooperation in various fields, citing the role of the financial sector in bolstering joint cooperation in economic and investment matters. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of condolences to UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan on the demise of a number of Emiratis who were targeted in Kandahar, Afghanistan, expressing his deep sympathy with the families of the victims and the brotherly people of the UAE, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent two similar consolatory cables to UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and to the Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces and Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed his strongest denunciation of such a criminal terror act, which contravenes the teachings of all heavenly religions and humanitarian values. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Rifat Palace former British Prime Minister David Cameron. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince underlined the vital role of Mr Cameron in enhancing relations between the two friendly countries. His Royal Highness also lauded the historic ties, cooperation and coordination between both countries in all fields, noting the role of the UK in supporting regional and international stability and security. The meeting also reviewed a number of regional and international causes and issues of mutual concern. For his part, Mr Cameron expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for meeting him, praising His Royal Highness's constant keenness to strengthen aspects of cooperation between the two countries. The meeting was also attended by Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. Bahrain Defence Force BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received today the BDF military football team, headed by Bahrain Football Association President Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the team's participation in the World Military Cup, to be held in the Omani capital of Muscat from January 16th to 29th. The meeting was attended by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Defence, General Major Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Director General Command Office, General Major Hassan Mohammed Saad, the Inspector General, General Major Abdullah Hassan Al Naimi, BDF Military Sports Federation Secretary General, Brigadier General Bahri Numan Rashid Al Hassan, and a number of the military team members who won the 1978 Middle East Championship. The BDF Commander in Chief affirmed that the team's achievements on all levels are as a result of the continuous support of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa for military sports. He stated that the BDF has been organizing various sports events and setting developmental plans to create military sports teams. On this occasion, the BDF Commander-in-Chief was presented with a commemorative gift. Mm -hmm. 
Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah and let's start with the local stocks. As Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,208.84 points, marking a decrease of 1.16 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector, representing 36% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 91 equity transactions included 5,741,456 shares worth 1,529,633 Bahraini dinars. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism proudly presented the 2016 achievements in various sectors in a press conference today. The Ministry also discussed the 2017 aspirations. Uh, we're glad to, to have uh, disclosed our achievements for 2016 today. Uh, in general, I think uh, the, the general underlying uh, direction for 2016 was to be more efficient in the ministry, uh, to be more productive. Uh, we have succeeded in doing so. Uh, still, uh, we have more ambitions to go forward in 2017 in improving our deliverables in terms of efficiency and productivity. Uh, the role in 2017 is to give more empowerment to the private sector to take a bigger uh, responsibility in the GDP contribution. Uh, we look forward to empowering more the SME and the entrepreneurship uh, sectors in the economy. And we're hopeful that 2017 will be a build-up on what we started in 2016 with more initiatives coming on board. The Central Bank of Bahrain announced today that it will issue the five Bahrain dinars, one Bahrain dinars, and the half Bahrain dinars denomination of the first issue of the Bahrain dinar with a change in the position and size of the identification feature, which will help the visual impaired. The new feature is a series of short raised lines of the right of the front side of the banknotes, which indicates the value of the note. The half Bahrain dinars has one line. The one Bahrain dinar has two lines. The five Bahrain dinars has three lines. It is also worth noting that CBB has previously changed the position and size of the identification feature for the 20 Bahraini dinars and the 10 Bahraini dinars denominations in September 2016.